Here's a little story about a man with a shed. He got really bored, so this is what he said. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna get on the radio. So now in his shed, he does a funny show. Broadcasting, that is. Radio Gold. It's pretty funny. Good morning, everyone. Uh, DJ Uncle Robbie here. And I tell you what, uh, here in my shed, on that shed show, and it's, it's, uh, eerily, eerily quiet out here. Uh, not just in the neighborhood. Oh, my door's wide open now. God damn it. My shed door open. <laughs> How unprofessional of me. <laughs> My bad. Uh, not only out, it, it's not only dead out here in the, uh, you know, crickets out here outside, but also on the internet. Crickets. That's all I hear. It's just silence, man. Uh, it, I mean, it's it's 10 o'clock. You know, usually something's going on. Uh, it's my day off, so I'm not complaining. Uh, you know, I'm not feeling real great. Uh, my daughter's even sicker. Uh, I don't if that's a real word. I don't know. Um, <laughs> sicker is that a real word? But um, you know, so I, you know, I, I've got up, came out here, you know, did a little things for the show. Decided I was going to do a show, and and uh, was on Facebook, got Skype up, Twitter up, everything's up, and nothing's really going on. So I'll probably just do a show, and then uh, try again later on tonight. You know, get take care of her, make her make my baby some chicken soup. My daughter who's sick. And uh, and me myself and maybe we'll just lay down and watch little cartoons. It's, it seems like a mellow day. The weather's not great. It's not horrible. It's cold. You know what I mean. The sun's not out. You know. So it's kind of you know it's it's kind of a mellow day. So we'll uh, you know we've got some shit planned. We're gonna do uh, the news, brand new original news intro coming up uh, any second now and. And of course, uh, a pretty good news story to uh, to read and to talk about, and uh, and you know, depending on the time that, that is, we might just end it there. We'll see. Uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, we'll figure it out right now. The student news. Why don't we? Yeah. Yeah. This is my bad news intro. Uh. This just in, I got bad news for you. A fire broke out, it was the whole state of Florida. When it comes to bad news, there's no one better. I can only get hard now when I'm reading a newsletter. In her will, Smith also intentionally omitted to provide for her spouse and other heirs, including future spouses and children and other descendants. They will, who writes this stuff? God, it's amazing. Are you guys lost like I am? It's like nobody talks the way that this stuff is written. Some intern at NBC News Channel writes this crap. In a little bit, filled in with some air, okay, not so as low of Chad, pressure, but Chad, Camille. Chad, but Chad, let me trans talk, Carol. Translate that for us. I don't know what that means. What does that well, mean? Well, if you would let me talk. Two, one, mark. Take a walk, jackass. Just let me know if he's coming from behind me, all right? Yeah, with a couple of shower chances by the time we get to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Thanks for the uh, hard-to-get applause, Nicole and Kevin. Yes. How's that, Carol? Is that good enough for you? Okay, well, I'll try a little harder next time. Thanks so much. Meanwhile, a high-speed chase... Uh, I think the lady expressed herself, and uh, you're not here, you're there. Would, is there any question you'd like me to ask her? And no, I, I, I'll, I'll give you lessons on how to become a reporter. Later. I'll give you some lessons on how to be an editor, because I was your boss once. Yeah, you were, and are no longer. How did that happen? Uh, well, I don't know. So come on and listen. What do you got to lose? It's DJ Uncle Robbie with That Shed Show, and this is bad news. Yeah, brand new news intro, bad news intro, that's the new segment, bad news, uh, simply because uh, that's usually, you know what they say, if it bleeds, it leads, that's usually 
the case when you look up news, if you get the news, you know, if you, whether you're watching on TV, uh, you get it on the internet or you do it the old fashioned way and get the newspaper, uh, it's usually bad news. Um, and if you're not falling for that, well, then uh, just say, all right, it's called bad news because uh, I'm reading it and it's horrible when I do it. <laughs> Whatever works for you. <laughs> Either one works for me. So um, today's news is brought to you uh, in part by HuffingtonPost.com. Big, soon as you go on the site, man, first thing that pops in your face um, Oh, and I don't even... Let me go back and see if I have it. The, the, could Earth defend itself from an ET invasion? Extraterrestrial, obviously. But the, when you first go on the, the site, it's the, the top story. Boom! We're doomed! Humanity defense us against alien invasion. And then you click on it. And then uh, uh, and then it's, it's a story on... Which is kind of interesting. I, I'm wondering. I, I'll read it, see what they got to say about it. Whoever wrote this garbage, but um, it's 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 a good topic, really. You know, like um, could could we defend ourselves? I, I don't know. I mean, people seem to think, for some reason, if there is, uh. You know, uh, if there is other life out there, that they would, they just assume they would be smarter than us. But I see it more like perhaps they're not. Perhaps it's, it's, it, when we do finally get over there, my theory is it's going to be just like uh, what we did to the poor Indians and, and everybody else, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, to us. Just the same thing we did to ourselves in, in history, you know? It, we're going to go there, and they're not going to be like us. They're going to be different, and we're going to, you know, we're, they're going to greet us kindly and, and, and show us to their traditions, and then we're going to try to change them. They're not going to like that, and then we're going to friggin' kill them and take over their shit. Uh, that's what I think. I, I mean, I, if anything, I mean, yeah, there could be more intelligent life, more intelligent than us out there, but there, there's also a chance that if there is life out there, they're... they're as same as us or a little under, you know what I mean? It depends on the life form, I, I would imagine, you know? Uh, what do you, you don't know what's, if there's anything out there, you don't know what's out there. It could be dogs or something. Like, it doesn't have to be, I mean, intelligent life form can mean a lot of things, you know? Maybe it's just like, like what we would consider an animal or something, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But uh, if there was intelligent and they had spaceships, and they had better shit than us, better guns, more technology, you know, they probably would, could take us out. Why not? While it's true, here's the story, though. Uh, while it's true that Russia has a very sophisticated air defense system capable of engaging and taking down targets at near space uh, altitudes, Russia's leading... New oh, that. Blah. There's an there's one potential enemy that country isn't ready to co to confront aliens from space. So America's saying, "Oh yeah, we could take all y'all," but what's up there? That's what's scary. Ooh. <laughs> and that's probably where our goddamn money's going. Relax. You probably come in peace. <laughs> you don't know. Fucking spending our goddamn money on alien communications. <laughs> For uh, you know, we're worried about an invasion. Just pump your brakes, NASA. Okay. <laughs> um, during recent uh, conference uh, at the TiVo Main Test and Space System, there's our money. Uh, control center near Moscow. Well, that's their money, but whatever. A journalist asked if Russia's fast. A array of security systems could protect the country from a possible uh, extraterrestrial invasion, according to Russia Today. So far, we are not capable of that. How do they know? You don't know. You, I mean, obviously, if they're not, they have to be. I mean, here's the thing. I, I, I get, I get it. If they get here, if they're coming here, then they have to be, right? They have to because they, they just 
you know, we don't have that technology. I mean, not to get as far as they would have to come. We can't, we can only get a few planets away, really, you know? And there's like a lot of space out there. And I can't imagine it being only perfect. Out of the big ass galaxy, this is the only planet that has life. That's that's insane to me. But I don't think it's you know the chances of there being a, a you know an advanced life form out there that's 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 so more advanced than us. And they go, oh yeah, we've been to this country. That I mean, this this um, planet, that planet. We know this planet down here has got life. We need some of their resources. Let's go fuck them up. I don't think it. I don't think so. I really don't. I think if anything, we're gonna be the ones to get out there. We're our race is so curious. We're never content. We need. We're adventurers. We need to explore. We need to, you know, see what's out there. And we're not gonna stop until we we get out there. And then we're gonna be the aliens, and we're gonna be the 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 monsters that 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 invade. That's what I think. But, uh, Russia says, so far we're not capable of that. Center Deputy Chief Surgery Berzahani responded. We are unfortunately not ready to fight extraterrestrial uh, uh, civilization. Our center was not tasked with it. There are too many problems on Earth and near it. Reports that the Tito Space Center, controlled by uh, aerospace defense troops, monitors space objects and identifies uh, potential threats to Russia in space and from space. But there doesn't seem to be a clearly def defined plan from which to defend against ruthless ETs. No, why would you? Why, why do you have to plan that, that far of fucking head? What what are you you don't know what you're fighting? What are you gonna defend for? You don't know what they got. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh taking this next level includes asking if any single uh, or group of nations on this planet could successfully fend off uh, an alien invasion. Well, first off, we would all put our heads together. You know, the first sign of trouble. I mean, you know, what they, they're, I, I, you know, it's going to be kind of like the movies. It's not going to be where, well, I mean, some movies are different, but I don't think they're, they're going to come here and just boom, you know, what they're worried about what, a ray? And just bam, we're dead. And then we, we can't, didn't even see it coming. No, they're going to come here. They're going to explore. They're going to see what we got. You know what I mean? And we can, uh, uh, while, while they're checking us out, we can check them out. You know, I mean, what are you going to do? I don't think they're coming here. I really don't. I'm not saying they don't exist. I'm just saying I don't think they're coming here. I don't think they're worried about us. I think we're worried about them for no reason. Because they care less about us. We're ants. Uh, we're, we're like... We're like an anthill. If there is higher life form out there, and they do know about us, they probably see us as 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 an as an ant pile. Nowhere near their yard. So why fuck with it? I mean, yeah, if we're in their yard, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna set the ant hill on fire. They're gonna fuck it up. But they're nowhere near us. So they're like, whatever. Leave them over there. They're pests. Leave them be. They're, you know, you you stir up the nest, and they're gonna come over here, and and and, and they're gonna be a nuisance. So let's just leave them alone. What do you think about that? <laughs> Russia. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. <coughs> that alien just took me over. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> oh. Okay, well, that was that. <laughs> uh, that's all we have. No one uh, called in. It's just dead. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> Let's see you later. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs>